staying in Genesis 18, before we move on to some other examples, look at one other, I think, of these theological discomforts that you had mentioned. You know, sometimes modern scholars are looking at this going, things like Angel here of, oh, maybe this was inserted. That in Genesis 18.22 is mm -hmm. one of these references where for a while, people have been looking at this and saying, maybe this has changed. Right. And so right. after the whole meeting at the tent, this is when the men are going on their way. They're going towards Sodom mm -hmm. and they have left and we have Abraham and the Lord there. And mm -hmm. verse 22 says, so the men turned from there and went towards Sodom while Abraham remained standing before the Lord. But this is one of those examples where scholars look at this and say, mm, feels like there's been a change here. Bob, what change? Because this seems to read just fine. What's right. the argued change here? Yeah. And again, this isn't something that modern scholars came up with. This is something right. that ancient scholars and, and scribes came up with. This is a tikkun sofrim, right? This is a, this is one of the many tikkunay sofrim. These are the the edits made to the text of the Hebrew Bible that ancient scholars, rabbis, uh, looked and said, clearly there was a change made to the text here to protect against anyone thinking that we were insulting God. Now, there's not an overt insult here, but just to make sure that nobody happens to think that this would mm, very, very careful. They probably made a change to the text. And look at the context of it. The Lord, the, the, remember, these three guys are standing there and they're going to, they're revealing to Abraham what's about to happen. And the two of them, remember, these are the two men that show up on lots, right? Mm -hmm. they, they're going to they're gonna leave and go down and do the thing. And so because they leave, this leaves only God standing there before Abraham, which is probably what the text originally said, right? God says, I must go down and see whether or not they have done according to their outcry. And if not, I will know. So the men turned from there and went towards Sodom. And the text probably originally said, while the Lord remained standing before Abram. Right? Then Abram came near and said, will you indeed do this thing that you said you're going to do? But... As the years went by, some people probably said, wait a minute, God isn't just a king, he's God. And the king doesn't wait before anyone. It's just a king doesn't wait on anyone. You wait for the king. And so what they probably did was instead of it saying, it went towards Sodom while the Lord remained standing for the other two men left while the Lord remained standing before Abram. They just switched those two mm -hmm. while Abram remained standing for the Lord. And then Abram came near and said, so it reads just fine. Most people don't recognize it. But some early rabbis looked at that and said, no, no, this is this is one of those instances where it appears a change has been made just to defend against anybody who might say we have offended God. And like I said, it reads fine without it, but they identified that one as clearly this didn't this isn't how it originally read but now it's now it's better and it's it's one of those yeah the, it doesn't change the meaning of the scene the people mm -hmm. that were there are still there but a, a, right. a slight theological fix of what's right. the relationship right. although you know we just had abraham defending arguing bartering and we have right. Sarah lying to God right. don't, we don't right. need to fix that part right. Sarah lying to God just fine we're comfortable with this uh, but the standing, <laughs> we've got to make a switch, which is one of these things where when you're looking through some of these, it's a moment where you go, you fixed that, but not this. Well, you fixed it's this, the same but with not the, that. It's the same with the non-kosher meal, right? Yes. Yeah, Abram goes up there and he gets him some meat and some milk and he, and he hands it to God. And I was like, you think you'd fix that one, right? And instead, this one, yeah, the, nobody's going to be offended by this. We know what, we know what you're trying to say, but the, the milk and the meat, come on. But that that apparently at the time wasn't a thing they hadn't received the law yet or something they could even though they have a thing that says all the law was known since the beginning anyways this one not a big deal but there are other ones a little bit bigger deal 